All right, watch as I bumble my way through installing... Oh, my. Installing nothing. Uh, we are trying to install Ubuntu Studio. It says, error, invalid magic number. You need to load the kernel first. Press any key to continue. Let's try. Safe mode. Oh, error. Oh, no. Test the memory. So, anyway. Maybe that's why I didn't use it before. Also, I uh, didn't really like how uh, Linux Mint was... Uh, doing the writing of that file. And this is what it just should... It, it just, like, kind of drives me nuts. Well, so, basically, it seems like i got to go back to Windows just to write a damn bootable disk. Because they don't work. I don't know what the reason is. But I use the provided ISO image thing. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm testing my memory, but, uh, okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do that I guess right Intel Core i7 6700K Memtest 86 I don't know what these numbers even really mean we have the clock temp we're at 4 gig 58 57 59 Celsius the cache is a temporary stored area I guess Total memory, 31.9 gigabytes. CPU, four cores, eight threads. Uh, IMC, 801 megahertz. DDR3, 1603. CAS, 11, 11, 11, 11, 28. I don't know what that means, but okay. We are 6%. So, there, there is nothing wrong with my RAM. I know that. But we'll just let it test anyways. Alright, I don't have time to do this. This has been running for 16 minutes right now. It says it's 37% pass. Test is 54%. 55%. We're on test number 6. Moving inversions. 64-bit pattern. Um, I just forgot that these things always take a really long time so we just hit escape and exit um, I don't know why I can't get this to boot into the other thing maybe it's just a bad drive not written correctly let's see what it tries to do so I don't want mint and I need to get over here and reset it Okay, so let us hold down delete. This should boot us into here. Alright, I want the deal here. Save and exit. It should boot from the USB stick, but something about this motherboard just seems annoying, and it doesn't always do that. And so, like, watch, it'll probably boot. From Grub. Okay, so we'll try it now. We get an error. It it says any key to continue. Um, safe mode doesn't work. All right. So Linux Mint, you didn't write the damn thing correctly. I don't know why. So now I got to come back in here. I gotta go into Windows to write an Ubuntu boot stick. How comical. <laughs> Delete. Okay. Uh, let's see. Enter. Yep, isn't that ridiculous? I have to boot into Windows to get into Linux. Oh, and I'm going to need to download Rufus because I don't have it anymore. Yeah. 
I understand that Belinda Etcher must be spyware or something. That's what people are saying. I like Rufus because it just works. You know, it just works. I don't really have a whole lot of trouble with it. All right. Let's put our um, our stick in here. And I really don't want this particular operating system, but I'm just going to... Uh, um, wait. Okay. My... Where's my other drive? Come on. Oh, it's right here. That doesn't look right. Oh, you know, the other thing got rid of all the other files that were not um, ISO files. Bookworm. CentOS. I think I'm not looking in the right spot. No? All right. see. I'm not finding it as quickly on this one, that's for sure. Fedora. There, I've downloaded so much stuff. Kubuntu. Linux Mint. Manjaro. MX Nomara Open Media Vault Aldo PC Linux OS Peppermint Porteous React Reborn Redcore I don't know what red core is, to be honest. Let's go try it. Uh, I don't know. Too many warnings. You know, if this writes too fast, then you usually know that it's not good. Now, I will try to uh, write the other one, but I wanted to try this one before. And I've downloaded a lot of these I have not tried. But I always go back to Windows to write all my stuff with Rufus. It just seems easier. I just don't see how the hell am I ever going to get away from using Windows. There's just too many reasons why they've got their clutches and claws into me. So this is going to take a while. Alright, that took forever. <coughs> Let's go ahead and reset this thing. Let's see. Probably just go to the boot menu. Sometimes it gives you more than one thing. See this? Well, um, what what doesn't happen in uh, the other versions? This doesn't do the UEFI. See that right here? We have the general USB flash disk, 
and then we have the um, partition one and two. There's multiple partitions on this thing. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and restart it. Um, it'd be nice if we could just tell this thing to boot from a USB device every time by default. Like, you used to be able to do that with a lot of the computers. Alright, let's just try that one. Let's just see what happens when we do that USB general... Come on. This thing seems laggy. It's probably not gonna work. Come on. Good lord. Yep. Alright. So we'll have to try one of the other partitions. This is really turning out to be a long process. Okay, I tried partition two. That didn't work. Okay. So next we'll try, I think, I don't know if it was partition one. I already tried, but it definitely tried two. Okay. Partition one. They're both exactly the same size, which makes no sense. Okay. So technically, I've tried every part of it. It just doesn't want to boot from this thing. We might have waited too long to do that. This computer is really finicky. Um, okay, boot menu. So we have... It, it breaks it down into weird crap. So here's a PNY 500 gigabyte. Here's a SATA 5. Uh, and that's actually a 2 terabyte. But here's the SPCC, the silicone power. Here's the 500 again. But it's labeled as Ubuntu. Here's the UEFI general USB flash drive and then here we have whatever E is probably the CD drive so if this doesn't work then this disk um, so it says uh, boarding welcome to grub unknown error okay alright so that doesn't work on this computer so here's an issue with this one the image you have selected is an ISO hybrid, but its creators have not made it compatible with ISO forward slash file copy mode. As a result, DD image writing mode will be enforced. So, I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a pain in the butt. So... I don't know what DD mode is. That one doesn't say the same thing. We'll try it and see if we. Well, I don't know what the problem with it is. All right, let's wait another thirty minutes. Ooh, 
98.1%. I don't know how much time I've wasted today. <laughs> Crap. Hey, I've watched a few videos about bad stuff on the news. Because uh, normally I don't have that uh, this page up. Normally I, I don't... I don't... Uh, well, this is YouTube, but there's also some other... You know, you open a page here, and you get this stupid, you know, news page. Anyway, I've read a bunch of stuff that I probably wouldn't have read otherwise, because I'm sitting here waiting for this thing to get done. 99.5. And I still need to do... Okay, so I still need... Okay, now we're, we're ready. Okay, I still need to do the other one, too. Let's go ahead and we'll do a restart. The other one I need to uh, try out Zorin again, and uh, I don't think Studio is actually really going to work on this computer. I don't think I ever got it to work before. It has some kind of weird requirement. Um, I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe it's some kind of secure boot thing or something that's causing a problem. Um, Okay, let's bring this one up here. Let's take a look in the boot menu. Okay, what does it do here? It says it only gives me one option, which is great. That means it didn't do all these goofy partitions. Okay. Good lord. What what is this invalid magic number? It's exactly the same problem over and over again. You know, I wonder if this will work on a different computer. Why don't we try that? Oh my god, what a, what a pain in the butt. Alright, um... Now this computer here usually doesn't uh, play nicely with the front USBs. Um, I need to get in here. Let's have a look. This one also needs a new power button. I have to really push on the damn thing. Okay. Right. What do we got? So now this one in the boot menu, or the, uh, this this is another Asus board. It doesn't show me the disc, but here it is here. I'll let you see what it does. So, I would say there's something wrong with the uh, boot media. Um, we tried this twice, so we can't blame it on uh, Mint. It's just, for some reason, doesn't work. I don't know. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board. So a quick search on here, it says kernel or module issues. In some cases, error, invalid magic number, you need to load the kernel first, could arise due to problems with the kernel or loading the wrong module or library solution. This could indicate with your system's configuration or hardware, you may need to investigate in kernel logs or potentially seek further assistance from the Ubuntu community. Uh, clear the package cache, use the pseudo app clean, update your system, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've had nothing but problems with it, and I just think it's because this is an older computer, and Linux is not necessarily, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily work on older computers always, like people try and say it does. Um, I'm just kind of doing some reading around.